Welcome back to Newswatch 10. I'm Jeremy David, and we're talking sports. Going into last Friday night's game, the Dalton Catamounts were a perfect 5-0. But five turnovers, which included two drop kickoff returns, took too much of a toll on the Catamounts. And Dalton soon saw their first loss of the season land right in front of them. But perhaps even more painful than that was the loss of hard-hitting Sequoia defense, who punished the Catamounts all night, including Stryker Brown, who threw two third-quarter interceptions and was seen being carried off the field in a, with someone else. Now the Cats lost 38-14 to, to the Chiefs, but according to head coach Adam Weingarten, that's fine. all part of the game. Stryker's fine. Stryker, our, our kids going to be fine, ready to play on Friday. It's no different. Any other time this time of the season, we're, we're banged and bumped and bruised up. and. And uh, so that's just a normal thing this time of year. A new winning streak when they welcome in Cass this Friday night. And while Dalton's football team still recovering from their first loss of the season, there's a local softball team that's got something to cheer about. Last night, Northwest competed in the 7-4A tournament at Twins Creeks Park in Woodstock. And did they ever, as a seven-run fourth inning turned out to be the difference as the Lady Bruins cruised to a 10-1 win over Cass. Now that game and fourth inning was highlighted by Callie Thomas's two-run triple and Taylor Stanton's two-run single. Lady Bruins starting pitcher Lauren Shook delivered another impressive outing, striking out seven. Northwest is now in the semifinals where they'll play Hiram tomorrow at 5 p.m. Unfortunately, Southeast didn't have as much to celebrate as their season came to an end last night as the Raiders came up on the short end of a 2-0 loss to Carroll. Southeast finishes their second season with a record of 15-14. and Well, next Monday, if you're a veteran, you can golf, eat, and drink for free at the Indian Trace Golf Course. This is a way Indian Trace can honor the veterans by treating them to an all-you-can-eat golf day next Monday, October 13th. From dawn until dusk, veterans will have an opportunity to partake in a golfing experience as well as free food and beverages. All you need to bring is your military ID. Well, Saturday, Duke went to Georgia Tech and got a rude awakening when they met the Yellow Jackets defense. The Jackets defense held the Blue Devils to 132 yards of total offense and zero points. The Ramblin' Wreck came away with a 27-0 win and our own Jeremy Rao came away with a story. Thanks, JR. And Georgia Tech, they play Saturday at 3.30 against Gardner Webb. So, yellow jacket, a web, kind of an interesting combination. Cedric, any last uh, comments on the weather? All right, well, Calvin, looks like the comments will be pertaining to the rain.